So I started selling cars for Mr. Tuttle in 1966. After a couple of weeks, I wanted to quit. I called my dad, he said, well, you can quit, but you can't come home. And then he told me something. He said, uh, there's no shortcuts to success. There's no substitute for hard work. Remember this, son, treat every customer so fair, they'll automatically go to work for you. So I almost quit. Thank God I didn't. So here, 42 years later, we built one of the most successful, I think, automotive groups in the country. And I've got 15 partners today that run 15 stores. And there's there's people like that all across America. Not only in the automobile business, but in all kinds of business that started as a waitress. And today they're, uh, they own their own restaurant. Sam Fox started in, in college here with a little bar. Now he's one of the most successful restaurateurs in the United States of America. Uh, we made him his first loan. I'm real proud of Sam. So that's an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs create wealth. Uh, they create construction, they create jobs, you know, and they're good for their communities. They give away millions of dollars back to the community, not because they have to, because they, they want to invest back in their community. Most entrepreneurs are that way. And you don't have to own your own business to be an entrepreneur. Your kids are entrepreneurs. I'll do this, I'll go to bed early. You know, so we, we learn as young people to be entrepreneurs because that's how we get what we want. This country is, we were built on entrepreneurship. You think about the people that came over, they came because they wanted a better life uh, for them and their families. And look at the, what our system is built on. It's built on all those entrepreneurs along the way. People want to be led. They want to be motivated. They want to do good. They want to work for a company they can be proud of. Anyway, that's what Prosper is about, is encouraging people to uh, to do better, to want to do better.